No time for further ado. The mosquitoes up here are so thick, it's not even funny. And I coated myself with DEET before coming up the ridge. And man, they don't care at all. I've been bit like 20 times. At least here on the ridge, there's a little bit more wind. It's fairly calm today, so it'll be a sled ride. I had a stressful day at work today. I needed the exercise, so. If your site has grass, thank the people that maintain it, because that'd be really nice say pretty wings make pretty launches that's unfortunate ah <laughs> uh, get away from me mosquitoes jeez one two three four five chin speed bar speed bar come on cycle oh no there was no cycle I tried to cheat and give myself a little bit more room so I wasn't just walking off the edge of a cliff going backwards. All right, this has to be picked up, directly up. See, and that's how you pick up free riders. Just by doing that. Damn it. Just heard a wild pig. I do not have a firearm. Wonder where he is. All right, let's see if I can come up with a forward before I hit the edge of that ridge. Cycle. Okay. Oh, that was ugly. <laughs> hey, no, uh, no broken lines. Kick ass. Not gonna make it even close to my LZ. So, I'm gonna put it down right on top of this ridge. I'm gonna top land it. That ridge is giving me just a little bit of lift. Great. It's not what I wanted. Woo! <laughs> In the reeds. Yeah, I thought it might have been coming a little high for that, but I knew I had a safe place to land past it. It's just in the breeds. It's usually easier than you think to get your wing out of this, too. Watch me have a nightmare now. Kind of wanted off of that damn ridge once I heard that pig. Maybe I should carry a firearm out here. Generally speaking, stuff uh, stuff usually just sits up on top. And these reeds are not strong. These are a little stronger than the tall grass. But it's not bad. It is dead calm down here. 
Mm. Mm. Damn. Got thorns in me. All right, I'm dragging this out. Get back to this green stuff where it's light. What did I do to get thorns in me? Is it this thing? Something I came through had them. I don't want to go back through it. Damn near everything here has thorns or something to eat you up. I give it a thorough inspection when I get back. I actually don't expect any damage at all from that. Usually I get a little bit of ridge lift. Ouch. Brother, can you spare some unsheathed lines? All right, let's boogie. Uh, get that high up over my head. Ow, thorns. It's a game trail. Probably a pig on the other side of this damn thing. Damn it, that ground is giving way. Uh. I think take the parking lot on the other side of this ridge get my keys and uh, go pick the car up freaking been down in these places I don't know how many times with guns and I haven't seen a pig down here sure enough damn pigs rooting around on down here paraglide generally they stick these farmers fields a little bit more there's a lot of water down here though so that's probably it oh that's right I know why they're here plum thickets tasty plum thickets this is plum creek and there will be a thicket over there just full of plums god dang it's hot out here oh, thank goodness this isn't the plum thicket the reason I don't fly this way is if I'm short it's all these trees and the way that I would probably never be short is a power line in the way note to self take bug spray high level disturbance serious clouds if I get out to the middle of this parking lot I'll only bring the mosquitoes that I came with. <laughs> Air is catabatic. Unfortunately, it's not very much cooler. You get my wing before it gets dark. I don't want to come back out here tomorrow morning. I have made that ridge work, and even with the wind that it was, should have worked better than how it did. I usually get lift for at least a few seconds after launching, even in a light wind. Ow. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what's injured, is my hand. It's full of cactus. Oh. Must have touched one on the way down. Mm. I gotta get my wing. Can't mess with cactus at the moment. Damn, usually really good at avoiding cactus. <laughs> I'll usually get a little, little scritch in me, but not like that. Oh, thought I might do a kind of a post-flight debrief. So many cactus. That didn't go like I wanted it to. The wind was a little bit too much out of the south to fly the normal pattern that I'm used to coming down off that ridge. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm used to having more wind. I had a forward launch, so I knew it was gonna be light, and I wasn't sure I'd make the LZ. I think I've had four flights from here I don't fly just because I came up a ridge and I thought about packing it in but man I was hearing pigs <laughs> I was hearing pigs around me oh why are there pigs here I think I've got enough light to show the camera why there are pigs here do, 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 do. this is a Treat a special 
to the crappy landing paragliding pilot. Oh, oh, oh. Right there. Boink. Takes a sweet plum. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. That one was actually stronger. A little bit more bitter than its color would have ind indicated. There's another one. Mmm. That one was super sweet. I tasted like a pear you'd buy a better, like a hundred times better than a pear you'd buy at the store. Just uh, really tart and uh, just full of vitamin C. Mmm. This is what the pigs are here for. And there happens to be a small thicket right here. And this is what this whole canyon got its namesake for, was the plum thickets that grow in it. This is Plum Creek. I mean, just thick of, of plums. And we pick these and we make plum preserves. And you want uh, a mixture of the really sweet ones and then some that were like the first one I got that are just kind of really tart because the really tart ones have a lot of pectin in them. And so you don't have to add, I think it's, I'm, I'm not a cook, I'm not, I don't make it myself, but you don't have to add an ingredient, I think a thickener. Mmm, love it. One of the greatest just joys that you can have, in my opinion, is just coming out somewhere and finding a little bit of goodness, natural goodness, right on a tree. Now you'd have to be careful because the plums bring game animals and rodents and everything will come down here including paragliders the biggest rodent of them all and so then what eats those animals rattlesnakes pigs pigs actually eat rattlesnakes <laughs> pigs also eat berries pigs will eat just anything right if, if they want to they'll eat they'll eat paragliders that is that is a pest that the pigs will eat Well, I didn't get quite as many plums. This is a very popular little spot because it's right next to the road. You don't have to hike out anywhere. Um, but yeah. So, a couple plums there. I'll gnaw on those on the right home. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> I heard pigs and it freaked me the hell out a little bit. And I thought, man, if there's pigs out here. I really don't want to walk from the top to the bottom of this thing. They can get very aggressive. They can, there's people that are found and all that's found is, you know, stuff that the pigs wouldn't eat. Probably find my harness chewed up and that's about it. My wing torn up. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna forward launch this bad boy and get the hell down. Well, my wing didn't come up as cleanly as I want. Who'd have thunk it, right? You saw how it was laid out. It was laid out like garbage. And there's really just no way not to lay out a wing like garbage up there. It's just, it's so difficult. You really need a high wind, you know? You need a high wind that'll pull that wing up and, and clear it of the garbage straight up off the plant so it doesn't snag so much. I think I've got it on a previous video you can look at. And I knew I was gonna make that little dirt road, so I have scouted a couple of other little areas. Generally speaking, where the valleys are, there's not any trees in there. There's maybe reeds, or maybe cactus, or maybe rough rocks, but stuff I can generally deal with. And I was trying to land on the spine of that ridge. And I think in retrospect, the, what I should have done is I should have held brake pressure to slow myself down. Um, so I would have come down on that ridge. It would have been a beautiful landing had I landed on that ridge, just top landed that tiny little ridge. But I didn't. Um, 
I'm usually cautious to keep my airspeed up, <laughs> gives me the options. And so the, that little tiny ridge is like, gosh, what looked like it was 10 feet tall is enough to keep me up off of it. And uh, so I went ahead and got to the bottom of that little ravine, hung a left and went, went into the reeds. The reeds aren't dangerous, right? They're just reeds. Um, I don't think it hurt my wing at all. If anything hurt the wing, and, and this is another mistake and I won't do this again, it would have been that I was carrying the wing out uh, and the camera was dead, but um, every once in a while, I, and I tried to ball that wing up with all the lines onto the inside and get it in a tight ball and carry it out. But every once in a while, something would snag a line and pull it out and I'd have to stop and push the lines back in. And that could have possibly, uh, that could have possibly damaged the wing. Um, if anything damaged the, the lines, it would have been the snaggy stuff on the walk back. Next time I fly, I will take a stuff sack in order to pack everything up. I will carry off. Uh, I left my bug spray in the car. I coated myself real good, but by the time I got to the top, I had sweat and it had washed all of that bug spray off of me and I got absolutely destroyed. I'm really not upset about my landing. It, you know, it'd be, it'd be, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not here to beat myself up. I, I, I would say the launch was kind of yucky. The, the wing kind of caught a little bit of a gust and shifted over to the left. I wish I had a 360 camera so I could have seen exactly what it did when it came up because it felt like it was over, over my head just fine. And then all of a sudden it shifted over to the left and pulled me off the ridge to the left. I didn't trip or anything. And again, once that wing got loaded, it's going to fly. So, you know, it, it's going to, it's going to take off. Ow. Mm. Man, I got lots of cactus plucking to do. <laughs> I didn't think it got into my palm, but I keep feeling needles in my palm. It is what it is. Uh, these are learning experiences. I'll document this. I've decided to start a little website just to, just to keep kind of a flat log and log the things that I learn and if I make a mistake or learn something I, I'll have it there. I'm going to try and model it off of Southwest Air Sports. Uh, Had is a pioneer in Texas. He is a paragliding instructor and he is up in the Poto Mountain reg region. Just a really good guy. If you paramotor or paraglide definitely definitely check out Had's, Had's site Southwest Air Sports. It's wonderful. Thanks for watching. Peace.